from the ancient landscapes of Southeast Asia to the bustling markets of Mesopotamia, the history of how chickens transform from wild counterparts to our feathered companions is an intriguing story woven with mystery and adaptation. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe. The history of chicken domestication and its spread has been debated. Some believe chickens originated in Southeast Asia or South India, while others argued for a Northern Chinese origin. Early claims of chicken bones in the Indus Valley and Northern China were questioned. Recent studies re-evaluated these claims. Bones from the Indus Valley were deemed inconclusive or possibly from local wildfowl. Northern China's supposed chicken bones were identified as pheasants, and climate records suggested an unsuitable habitat for red jungle fowl. Genetic studies suggest that domestic chickens mainly descended from red jungle fowl, specifically the subspecies called Gallus gallus spadisus in Southeast Asia. The genetic divergence between these chickens and their wild counterparts occurred between 1800 and 6200 years ago, but this doesn't necessarily represent the start of domestication. It marks the split between the wild and domestic chicken lineages. Reanalyses indicate that the first chickens likely came from the subspecies Gallus gallus spadisus in southwestern China, northern Thailand and Myanmar. The earliest confirmed chicken bones date back to around 1650 to 1250 BC in central Thailand. Chickens then spread to central China. South Asia and Mesopotamia by the late second millennium BC, reaching Melanesia by 700 BCE. Their western dispersal to Ethiopia and Mediterranean Europe was notably rapid. The red jungle fowl are often called bamboo fowl in Southeast Asian languages. In the native range, these birds take advantage of cyclical bamboo flowering and seeding events. Red jungle fowl also consume rice, a staple for Southeast Asian domestic chickens. As Neolithic communities in Southeast Asia adopted mixed foraging and cereal cultivation, such as cultivating rice and millet, the habitat changes attracted red jungle fowl to human settlements. The transition from primary forest to secondary vegetation due to land reclamation for cereal cultivation created a more suitable habitat for red jungle fowl. They thrived in slash and burn agricultural systems and the presence of cultivated fields, fallow fields, cereal harvest residues, and other human activities likely attracted them to villages. The availability of cereals created selective pressures leading to changes in red jungle fowl behaviour over multiple generations, such as a relaxation of selection against larger clutch size and decreased territoriality in males. Archaeobotanical evidence suggests that rice cultivation sites within the distribution of the likely chicken progenitor, Gallus gallus spadisus, appeared around 2000 BC in southern Yunnan and northeast Thailand. While cereal farming was present, there was no early evidence of domestic chicken populations. In interior zones with rain-fed rice and millet cultivation, a closer relationship between people and red jungle fowl is evidenced by early chicken bones at sites like Ban Non Wat and Non Nok Tha. In regions north of Yunnan, wet rice agriculture appeared as early as 4,000 to 3,000 BC, but chickens only appeared around 1,000 BC indicating a delayed association between chickens and wet rice cultivation compared to other forms of cultivation in the tropical south. The spread of chickens aligns with the development of agriculture. Across Asia and Africa, in South Asia, sedentism and the dominance of domesticated rice, wheat, barley and other grains became prevalent in the Ganges plains around the second millennium BC. This period, especially from the later second millennium BC, corresponds with the arrival of unequivocal chicken remains in the Indian subcontinent. The introduction of domesticated indica rice around 1600 to 1500 BC in the upper and middle Ganges with its rain-fed and fallow features likely attracted chickens. Genomic evidence indicates that local domestic chickens in South Asia resulted from the mixing of local Gallus gallus mergi with introduced chickens from Gallus gallus spadisus. In Iron Age Mesopotamia, the cultivation of Chinese millets intensified after 1000 BC, coinciding with the archaeological visibility of poultry farming. Irrigated rice also became established in Syria by around 1100 BC, aligning with the broader diversification of grain crops and the emergence of poultry husbandry after the Late Bronze Age collapse. In Africa, 
the appearance of chickens correlates with the spread of rice agriculture. The 8th and century sea translocation of chickens to coastal Southeast Africa and Indian Ocean Islands aligns with the introduction of Asian crops like rice. In the Niger Basin, archaeological evidence shows increased urbanism and widespread rice cultivation around 300-900 C, coinciding with the first appearance of chickens in the region. Early pictures and chicken remains in Mesopotamia, and parts of Europe suggest chickens were linked with elite culture, special burials, holy places, and divine ceremonies. Discoveries show that early European chickens were respected and not eaten right away. However, these findings need further validation. In conclusion, chickens' domestication and global spread from red jungle fowl occurred relatively late compared to other farm animals. Further archaeological investigations may unveil earlier human jungle fowl connections and global chicken translocations. The allure of rice and millet agriculture was pivotal in domestication, creating favourable habitats in extensive cultivation systems and sustaining larger bird populations in intensive rice farming. Grain cultivation, attracting various birds, initiated a commensal relationship with red jungle fowl, leading to domestication. Biologically, Rice and millet cultivation supported chicken husbandry. In subtropical regions, while their adaptability and granivorous diet suited agriculturalists in arid and temperate areas, the gradual integration of chickens in colder climates suggests a slow adaptation to these environments. In essence, the journey of chickens invites us to see them as more than domesticated animals, but as agents of change adapting across diverse landscapes and cultures. The evolving bond between humans and chickens, woven into our shared history, promises ongoing revelations through continued archaeological and scientific exploration.